We're going to learn how to create a classroom website using the wiki host EditMe. EditMe is located at editme.com. So when you come to EditMe for the first time, you want to come down here to Let's Start, and uh, we are going to get started building your wiki website. So you can just click right there, and you are going to want to come in here to standard under the packages and uh, I'll tell you why in just a moment so what you want to do is is uh, click here and then when you get to here come down where it says have a coupon code and click on that and just click OK to that question and now you're ready to start and what you see that's nice is you know, again you want to come over here and, and click standard and your nineteen dollar fee goes down to nine as a teacher as long as you come down here to coupon code and go with one nine one nine and uh, I teach educators how to use edit me through my paperless classroom courses and this code gets you the standard package at this uh, very nice Price and you need this to do a lot of the great things with Edit Me, like create a blog and create uh, private classrooms or private websites for your students. So it's very important to do this. Um, you need to fill in the rest of this site name. Uh, you're going to put in you know whatever you think your your classroom site will be named, uh, Mrs. Jones Science, uh, and then the other information and click next and you'll be ready to go and it will take you to a page and you'll want to go ahead and bookmark your page so that you can remember your website. You get a lot of people who join and then they can't remember their website. Eventually you want to have something that looks like this. Now keep in mind that my website is years in the making so there's a lot of stuff here. There's actually over a thousand pages on this website and eventually you can get to something like this uh, but really in a very short time you can have something really nice. So uh, don't think, oh boy, I'm going to have to put in years. Um, and what you see up here on top navigation, I've got a lot of different links. Uh, we're working on a project. I got a project page. Click over to there. You can in insert graphics very easily. And uh, Edit Me comes with a very simple edit mode. And you come into here and you, you see this almost like a Word document. It's very simple to use. You can uh, select text. You can come up and you can change the colors with a color palette. You can shade them uh, with that color palette. You can change sizes of font by using your uh, format up here with your different heading sizes. It very easily add graphics. There is a uh, insert edit. Um, image, you can insert and edit media, you can embed YouTube video, uh, I've got a presentations page up here where I keep tons of things. This is a voice thread that introduces my presentations page and then I've got all kinds of alphabetical presentations here th that are very nice. Some of them link to other places. Click on this complex sentence uh, right in here to another site that has a, a lot of really great information about creating good sentences that I use in my seventh grade language arts class so that's real nice uh, and all kinds of things video you can come down and, and you can click on here and I have created a screencast like this one and I've just put it on there as a link that opens up you can embed video right onto your site uh, I've got this really nice little birthday piece over here that's embedded and all I have to do is go to a page and change that. I put kids on there you know, if they have a birthday. I've got my delicious tags which is really nice because the uh, students can come in if I direct them somewhere and they can go right to sites that I tell them are good sites. You can learn more about delicious bookmarking here at Learn It in 5. And I've got activities pages up here for the students to see there's just a, a wealth of, of great things. I've created a game room page where I've put educational games that I would like my students to go to. So if they're finished with an activity, I often send them here. Uh, and of course, they can create their own individual pages. If I come up to my index, uh, you'll see a, a long list of student pages in here that um, I can go to and that's just a powerful piece students can do anything they want on the website so this is editme.com in five minutes or less